Welcome back. Seriously, you are a motivation to me. To be sincere with you, you are the reason I keep coming back here. This is because without your support and encouragement, possibly this could have been ended from the day it started. Please, let's keep encouraging others to join us by subscribing, liking, and sharing any of my video they find useful. Let's start having a community that support process, not only results. I will break this statement down when the time is right. But for now, let's continue from where we stopped in our previous video by responding to who is Technology Incubation Center. Let's continue. Technology Incubation Center, TIC, is a formal government institution established and managed by National Board for Technology Incubation, MBTI, under Federal Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation in collaboration with the state governments, public and private institutions, as part of efforts to galvanize and stimulate knowledge-based innovation, as well as emerging technology to enhance economic growth and development in the country. Sectorial classification of products of the technology incubation centers. This means the sectors in which technology incubation centers focused on, which are as follows. Automobiles such as cars, spare parts, ETC. Food and essential oil such as daily meal, neem oil, hibiscus oil, ETC. Chemical processes such as paint, Cosmetics, sanitizers, etc. Controls and computers such as software development, control panels, etc. Energy such as energy savers, renewable energies, etc. Engineering and fabrication such as agro machines, high tech machines, etc. Leather and craft such as shoes, belts, footballs, etc. Metalloys such as melting of iron, steel, alloys, etc. Waste recycling such as biofuel, crop residuals, etc. And solid minerals as well as building materials. Who can become an incubator? Now, let me explain who can become an incubator in the technology incubation center. The word incubator in this setting means student in their formal education setting. Just as the formal educational institutions such as the universities, polytechnics, colleges, not just students. That's how technology incubation centers nurture incubators. That is from purchasing of forms, securing admissions, carrying out assessments, and finally graduation. Similar process is followed in the tech technology incubation centers. But however, at the entry level, in the technology incubation centers, you must have a registered business, which have a technology-based product or service with value addition. This means that 
at the technology incubation centers, admission is given to the business, not the individual. The individual only serves as the proprietor or owner of the innovation. So, with this little explanation, we can conclude that every entrepreneur can become an incubator as long as he or she meet up with the minimum requirement of the centers. Technology incubation scale. This means the arrangement of the stages in which the program follows. So the stages now are as follows. One, the pre-incubation stage or scale. Pre-incubation are those preliminary activities provided to prospective entrepreneurs prior to admission into the technology incubation program and which are geared toward enhancing the program success. Two, incubation. Incubation is being divided into two groups. One, we have the resident incubation. In this game, entrepreneurs are provided with incubation unit or space at their technology incubation center. And the second one is non-resident incubation. To increase the reach of the technology incubation program, the program services are extended to entrepreneurs that cannot operate within the premises of the incubation center due to distance or size of activities as well as limited space availability within the center. The third one is the community incubation. These are low technologists designed for women and youths that are located within less privileged areas. Beneficiaries are usually taught how to create value-added sustainable businesses through training and development programs. The fourth one is post-incubation. To ensure sustained competitive growth of entrepreneurs who graduate from the program, some intervention measures geared towards promoting continuous improvement in services and or processes are provided. These services include monitoring, networking or linkages, support to finance and knowledge providers. Then the fifth one is direct commercialization. This scheme is designed to provide entrepreneurs that operate outside the technology incubation program, but require necessary assistance for scaling up innovation, value addition, ETC, toward full products commercialization.